Alright guys, now with Expanded Enhanced right around the corner, I decided to make a wish list of things I would like to see in said edition of GTA 5 slash GTA Online. And I'll save half of what I'm about to list comes true, I will be very happy. So with that said, let's get into it. First off, I just want to address the big elephant in the room, something that we've all been begging for for years. Please Rockstar, this is the best time of any time to nerf the Oppressor Mark II. Aside from the Depressor Mark II, I'm sure we can all agree that a lot of weaponized vehicles in today's GTA Online climate are poorly balanced. Let me give a few examples here. First example is helicopters. When's the last time you've actually seen someone use a weaponized helicopter effectively in GTA Online? Even if you have recently, it's no secret that with so many vehicles in the game that now have the Broomstick Mark II's missiles, you're better off using something else. That's not to say that a skilled pilot can't use something like a Savage or a Hunter effectively, but the average player might as well be a sitting duck. Another example is what about large aircraft, such as the Bombushka and Voltal? Pretty much every large aircraft in the game, aside from the Avenger, is not nearly armored enough for how big and how slow these large aircraft actually fly. And that brings me to my next point here, and that is improved render draw distance. Now, this should be a given, but given recent Rockstar developments, such as how they f***ed up the Trilogy Edition, they're not above looking this up. Moving on, these next few have to do with your character's customization and appearance. First off, it would be nice if we could have at least 10 more outfit slots on top of the 20 they already have. If you're anything like me, you have a lot of outfits that have glitched items on there, and said glitches have been patched, so therefore if you were to overwrite one of those slots, you would lose it forever. On that note, please Rockstar, allow us to be able to purchase duffel bags. I will never understand why we're forced to glitch duffel bags under our outfits instead of just, you know, being able to buy them. Or, you know, maybe add a brand new section, uh, backpacks. Why not add backpacks? It could be purely cosmetic, or it could even have a functionality where you could, for example, carry more Mark II special ammo. It would also be nice if we could purchase special accessories such as the belts you see on the cop outfit, badges like the IAA and FIB badge, uh, perhaps you could do like some sort of heist or mission to unlock the ability to buy those. Uh, speaking of appearance though, it'd be nice if we could have the ability to change our sex slash gender in the change appearance menu. I have a male character that I've had since 360 and it would be nice if I could change it to a girl, you know, without having to start completely over. Speaking of starting from square one, how about we buff the payouts for some of the low paying missions that have been in the game since the beginning? such as contact missions, races, and stuff like that. You know, they still pay out the exact same amount that they did since 2013. How about a centralized point to organize and move vehicles around from separate garages? For example, you could go into one of your garages, you know, that blue circle, you would move those cars around in said garage, but it would show up a menu of all the other cars in all the other garages. So you didn't have to spend hours reorganizing what goes where in which garage, you know? How about the ability to hide contacts like you can with uh, guns using a locker? God knows when you're scrolling through, uh, if you're just trying to get the lesser you have to scroll past 20 fucking people i would also love for them to add more unique weapons i'll give a few examples here the first one is something that gilly master came up with and that is a homing launcher mark ii but it shoots emp shells uh, there's another one i came up with why not add a katana but every time you get a kill with it you go off radar for a certain amount of time kind of like the stone hatchet gives you that ability of near invincibility but instead with this you would again go off radar bring back the placeable ground fireworks please if you play 360 or ps3 you know what i'm talking about all right if you went back Back before they shut down the 360 servers, you know what I'm talking about. I miss those things, man. They, they took them out of the game and never brought them back, and nobody knows why. The only place you can actually find them is in the creator. Which brings me to the next section of this video. Please update the creator, Rockstar. Now, while the creator is already in a really good state as it is, there is a few things and a few ideas I have to improve it. Number one is something that I thought was going to come with the tuners update, the one with Moody Man in it, and that is the ability to create our own street and pursuit races. But that never came to the creator, and I'm I'm kind of disappointed about that. This could also be done by adding a more variety of props, such as some of the props seen during missions involving Meriwether that are currently not in the creator for us to use, or maybe even rare ones like the UFO, alien egg, the gold bar rack, the crashed helicopter, the crashed plane, you know, some of the rare ones like that. Speaking of props, it could also allow us to use arena war props outside of the actual arena war creator, as well as vice versa and let us use normal vehicles inside the arena war creator. While unlikely, they could also allow us to build in and on quote restricted areas, such as interiors like Human Labs, the FIB building, the missile silo, and the tunnels underneath Mount Shoyad, and the underground IAA base, as well as on the USS Lexington, which is the aircraft carrier in the game, on Cayo Preco. I'm imagining being able to make missions on Cayo Preco, like just make races and stuff. That would be awesome. I would also like to add North Yankton onto that list, but if you've ever done a North Yankton glitch, you know that beyond that main road, there's really not much. In fact, if you go like a block over, you'll fall straight through the map. Maybe Rockstar, however, could make an official deathmatch in the North Yankton Cemetery. That would be pretty dope. 
couple more things before we end it off. First of which is something that primarily affects PC players, and that is Rockstar. Please implement dedicated servers instead of relying on peer-to-peer -peer connection like you have been since 2013. This is a huge reason why hackers can actually get away with as much as they can and why hacking is so rampant on PC. Lastly, I would love to see crossplay implemented and expand and enhance, but only if, again, they have dedicated servers, or at least we have the option to toggle crossplay on and off in the menus. I'm on console, I'm on Xbox, I'm lucky enough not have to deal with constant hackers in free mode lobbies. I'm not about to want to have to uh, start dealing with them anytime soon. Anyways guys, it's pretty much all I had on my wish list for GTA 5 Expanded and Enhanced. But now I want to know in the comments down below, what do you guys want to see in GTA 5 Expanded and Enhanced? Are you guys even going to get Expanded and Enhanced? Are you guys sick of seeing GTA 5 for the past fucking 8 years? I'm not gonna lie myself, I am kind of worried we haven't seen any gameplay. Hopefully by the time you guys see this video, we will actually see some gameplay and some more details about it at least on Rockstar Newswire. Other than that guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed, dislike if you disliked it, and uh, yeah, have a middle day.